hang out with me. I'm Anastasia Vishnu, your host. And today we'll be talking about prodigal love reality. Glory to the most high God. I thank God for your life. I thank you for you that have joined. Thank you for joining wherever you're joining from all over the world. I'm so glad you're here and we're here to have fun. We're here to rub minds together. And uh, I'll be opening up my line so you can always call and contribute because I really want to make this uh, program an interactive one. So the number to call is plus 491-7277. Two zero seven eight four. I repeat, plus four nine one seven two seven seven two zero seven eight four. You can WhatsApp call me if you want to be a part of this program. Welcome to hang out with me. So today we'll be talking about prodigal love reality. So what, is it, what does it mean to have a prodigal love? What, what does it mean to be a prodigal lover? And what does it mean to be a personality with a real love mentality? Now we'll be deliberating from the revelations God has uh, given us in the scriptures. And of course, from the experience of life. Although we are all unique beings and because we're unique, um, what works for Mr. A might not really work for you, but life is all about uh, trying to figure out what is best for you. Amen. So we're trying to figure out what is best for us. We connect us to lasting solutions to our problems and lasting solutions to what we're passing through in our relationship. Let me know if you can hear me and uh, if you can hear me say yes and tell us where you're watching from. Hang out with me and we will just uh, uh, welcome everyone. And uh, I would like also to share uh, to my friends, um, give me time also to share. And if you're just joining, help us also to share. Help us to share, 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 share trying to share, uh, but I can't find my videos. Okay, let me just go to YouTube. I'm gonna see my YouTube uh, uh, subscribers, if they are there, before we roll it on. I think we are also live on YouTube right now. So yeah, we're live on YouTube, glory to God. Please help us to share, comment. And uh, let's make it uh, interactive, okay? Thank you all for joining. Hang out with me. So today we're talking about prodigal love uh, relationship. What is love? We'll be trying to define love in this series of Hang Out With Me. We, we try to define love in such a way that every individual should have a befitting definition of love. Because when you have a befitting definition of love, then you'll be able to know when somebody is showing that to you. So what's your definition of love? Write it in the comment. So we're talking about prodigal love in reality. Prodigal love are real love. And real love are embedded with tolerance uh, offers. Tolerance offers that are that help spouses to stay together. So love, real in the real essence, is a sacrificial time of being tolerant with one another, with being tolerant with your spouses. You know, so because we can uh, uh, say we love one another, we can say we love ourselves, we can say we are in love, and we don't tolerate our partner. So how can we say we are in love when we don't tolerate our partners? So the idea of tolerance plays a real role in getting a lasting love. And that is to say that real love is embedded on tolerance. So what is tolerance and when is, uh, when is, uh, is he over, overplayed? So when we talk about tolerance, we talk about you trying to tolerate what is right. And tolerance in relationship uh, doesn't need to be overplayed. Doesn't need to be overplayed, you know. So because when it's overplayed, then the someone else is going to be abused. 
when it's overplayed, someone is going to be abused. So love is not about being abused. Welcome, A.G.K. Kingsley, our uh, ever active uh, participant. We welcome you, sir. Thank you, A.G.K. A.G.K. is asking, what is the topic of the day? The topic of the day is uh, radical love in reality because people feel like, oh, they are love, uh, they are in love, or uh, they are in love with you. But how did you even know that this love is real? How did you? How will you know that this love is real? How will you know that this love is practical? So, so for the love to be uh, pra uh, real, there should be some practical instances we'll see in the person. There should be some practical exhibition we'll see in the person. So that's what we're trying to discuss today. So the topic today is practical love in reality. So it's like real love, no faking it. So how do we know that somebody? Uh, is uh how do you know that somebody is uh in love with you how do you know that somebody is really out there to support you not because of what you have not because of the qualities you have not because of your beauty because it's even wrong for you to marry somebody because he or she or uh, he's beautiful or because she is beautiful or because he's handsome so if somebody is marrying because of your beauty then there's a problem because love is beyond what we can see Yes, so uh, I want to see if I can type in my um, uh, my number so that every anybody that wants to participate can uh, participate. And to participate, you have to um, uh, call me on WhatsApp call. If you call me, if I don't pick, I will call you back, but you can call on WhatsApp. So let me try to pull the number on the screen. So it's 491. We're trying to talk about what uh, love is, what practical love is, and love cannot be defined without you trying to be sacrificial. Yes, love sometimes needs sacrifice. Love needs sacrifice. Let me try to uh, type in the number and uh, we'll kick it off from there. So I'll put the number on the screen. So once I start, I have started, so I will not be distracted. So uh, let me know what you feel. What is your practical definition of a man that is really in love? What is your practical experience? Can you say, yes, this man is in love? So that's the number to call. The number to call is plus four nine one seven two seven seven two zero seven eight four so the number to call is on the screen and it's hang out with me thank you all of you that have joined on youtube i think i have more viewers on youtube today thank you for joining and if you're on facebook thank you i can see uh some people on facebook please write something so that facebook will uh, will uh, indicate i mean facebook will in, um, notify other people that i'm live because now I'm trying to share on Facebook. I can't see the video, but I've already shared the, the YouTube link on my Facebook page. Thanks for joining. Just write something. Tell us where you're joining from. It's all about practical love reality. Before I go through my notes, let us know where you're, calling, um, where you're joining us from. Yeah, okay, I can see my video now. So now let me share and share also to my group. Thank God I can see the video. So let me try to share. Welcome, everybody. This is time to have fun. Hopping, hopping, let us have fun. Hopping, 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 let us have fun. Life is all about having fun. Life is all about discussion. Life is all about rubbing minds. And love can be more beautiful when we love, uh, when we uh, rub minds together and help ourselves in difficult situations. So welcome to hang out with me. I'm Anastasia Fishna, and today we're talking about prodigal love in reality. So talking about prodigal love in reality will mean that real love can uh, be pretty romantic sometimes so wonderful as we thought and uh but sometimes real love could be um uh, sometimes love could be unpredictable like 
oh, I got uh, in contact with him, but I didn't even know he's going to change like this. I didn't even know he's like this. I didn't know she's like that. You know, so sometimes love could be unpredictable. And I want to know that when love becomes unpredict unpredictable, there is nothing uh, uh, there is nothing to worry so much about your your love turning the other way around. So when love turns the other way around, what you need to do is to try to fix what you can fix. But if you can fix what if you can fix what you can fix, and love is still in another way around, then you have to withdraw yourself from that relationship and seek another route. Beloved, I want us to know that we are all unique beings. And because of the uniqueness of our lives, there's a personality that God has already crafted for us. All we need to do is to find such personalities. Amen. Ah, Evangelist Anita is on, online. Welcome, ma'am. Evangelist says hello. She's watching from Frankfurt. Hello, Evangelist, you're welcome. And who do we have here? We have, yes, to love someone is to go out of your way. Yes, we have also uh, EA from England. Welcome, ma'am, from UK. Welcome. So let us do our contribution. You can put your contributions in the con uh, comment box, or you can just call me directly on the phone um, so that my viewers will also hear your voice. And that will make uh, more... Um, that will make the program more interactive and i really appreciate that so let's see who our first caller is going to be but before then uh before then let's go ahead so somebody's trying to call uh let me see who that is uh let me see who that is let me see if okay so evangelist is trying to call yeah so we have somebody already on the line Evangelist Anita, all the way from Frankfurt. You want to contribute, ma'am? Yes. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, ma'am. Please tell us your name again for the viewers. My name is, I would like to always keep myself low, Sister Anita from, from Frankfurt, Germany. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Sister Anita from Frankfurt, Germany, for calling in. So today we're talking about practical love reality because some people feel, oh, they are in love, they love you, they profess love, but when it's time to really act the love, when it's time to really showcase the love, they are falling by the wayside. And this goes ar um, around all corners of life. I mean, all space of life, because some people say, oh, maybe the person is not born again. This happens also within born again couples, within believers. So let's hear your contribution, ma'am. Hi. Well, this um, love of 18 is very, very deep. You know, to me, love is very deep because you can really not see one's heart you know you can say oh i love you but you cannot really really tell if the person love you and you cannot really tell if the person can go extra mile you know like if you want to look a beautiful example it's our lord jesus christ our lord jesus christ went at length of giving up himself for us all and that kind of love no one can ever do it Wow. So when we come to when we come to reality now, which is we human being, how much can we give as love? Wow. It's only like no matter how we try to give love, we cannot give love as big and as deep as our Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm. So we always want to give love the way we can. Some people will say, didn't you, didn't you see I show you love? Didn't you see what I just did is love? No, you don't have to say it. But let it be that it's the opposite that is seeing you. I mean, the person you are doing it for, let it be is the one saying, wow, this is love. Okay, let me give this example. I went to visit a friend. Yeah, right. That on. was two or three years ago. Two or three years ago. So I prepared something little for the children. Something little, not too much. But the way I presented it, so look at mother, look at what I brought to for the children, for you also. She said, wow, wow, I can see the love that you used to present it. You see? So it's not about building a mansion for somebody. Yeah. Oh, I put you there because I love you. No, you build that money and you, I mean, you have the money, you build the house and you 
put the person there because you have it. Not that you love the person. Wow. You just want to showcase. Hmm. You just want to showcase. You know what? I have money. Yes, I want to have her. I want to let her know that I can I can take care of her. That is not love. Wow. I will also have instance that a man who said, I love you, my wife. And you will see how the wife open her heart to the man, do everything. If even though she is the one that needs to go to job, maybe get the money because the husband is he has been looking for a job, but he could not see the job at the moment. But the woman is just doing her best, complying. Yeah. And later, God start blessing the man. God start blessing the man. The man will start having wings. His wings will start growing. Mm -hmm. Before you know it. He started misbehaving. But this is the man that claimed he loved the woman. Wow. Hmm. But when he starts having money, you will see his different color. Wow. I know that I see some women that pretend to love mm -hmm. because the man has money. So the only advice I will give is we should do our best to take everything we are doing to prayer. Everything to prayer. Wow. Okay to prayer mm. so that god can really help us out because the person that shows you love mm. that you can even beat your chest for can change tomorrow that's it can change tomorrow that's it you see because satan is always at the corner of every christian he's mm. always at the corner of every christian so that he can bring pain the thought of changing of somebody we intend, somebody we intend to buy a building, or somebody we intend to, to to do particular things for this fellow, but something along the line will change the mind of that person. Sorry, my daughter is here. Wow. Something along the line will change the mind of that person not to do it. Who is that person that changed the person's mind? It's the devil. Hmm. Somebody it's the devil else. That somebody the else is person. trying to call. We have a caller on the line. Please, if you're trying to call, just hold on. And as soon as the caller finishes, I'm going to call you back. So right on, Sister Anita. So somebody in that corner, I mean, somebody, I mean, what am I trying to say? What I mean is, in the mind of that person, the person intends to do it. Yeah. But Satan, the same time, he wants to change the mind of the fellow that wish to do good. Hmm. It can be also in a husband and wife situation. It can be also in two friends. It can be also in two new lovers. Yeah. So first, when we love, when we want to do something, we must not have, there's no need to have a second thought. Because when you have a second thought, devil will, will come in there. You know, the devil is in our mind. The good and the bad is in our mind. It's not going to come from one, one, one place from the corner and say, hey, I'm devil. It's in our mind. So the main part of all what I want to say is when you show your spouse love or you show that your friends love and it turns to be evil, hmm. don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just you know that you have played a beautiful part in that person's life. And move on. Exactly. Move on. It's a privilege that you can show love to that person. Wow. God is counting on that person. Move on and forget about it. And when you have a situation, you will have a situation to help others or to show that same love. Don't withheld it. Still keep doing it because that is what the Bible tells us. Look unto Jesus, the finisher of our faith, Amen. the example of love. Amen. Wow. Thank you so much, Sister Anita. She's calling all the way from Frankfurt, Germany. Thank you so much, ma'am. We love you and we we'll still want to hear your contribution again. Meanwhile, let's give other people time. Then you can still hang out there. Maybe I'll call you back, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. So she's just trying to, uh, one of our callers just uh, trying to contribute to the program. She emphasized on the every marriage should be uh, brought to the place of prayer. The prayer is very important in every marriage. And of course, 
she also emphasized that we should uh, learn also uh, to give love to one another. And even if the love that we give to other people turns sour, we shouldn't relent in loving one another because Christ is an example of love. Thank you so much, ma'am, for that wonderful um, uh, uh, fundamental principles, I must call it, because every prodigal lover has to get to that realm of uh, the realm of like, okay, fine, uh, giving, uh, uh, giving in love and uh, accepting love the way it is, no matter how the people you give love to react to it. So that's why I said before that love could be romantic or sometimes love could be unpredictable. It can even, it can happen that it can be painful. It can be frustrating and it can hurt, you know, especially when you're loving somebody and the person you're loving is sitting you back wrong in another realm. So practical love in reality, but real love is embedded with tolerance which offers plenty of rewards and good tidings, but it has to come. Let's see who is somebody. We have a caller on the line. Uh, 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 we have a caller. Let me just pick this. Hello, caller. Just hang on one minute and I'll put you on live. So, uh, prodigal real love has to be done with all full tolerance and plenty of rewards and good tidings uh, attached to it. But it has to come from a serious, dedicated effort to accept the challenges, the flowers, the weakness that your partner might showcase. And to accept your spouse's challenges helps you to build lasting love. So we have a caller on the line. Hello, caller. Hello, good morning to everyone. Yes, we already know the voice. The <laughs> this voice is very, very common. I mean, As it's our best. Our it's Ejike Kings. I'm calling here from Germany. Yes, I know it's Ejike. I know it's Ejike. So, uh, viewers all over the world, this is Ejike calling Ejike. from Germany. So, so welcome. yeah, thank okay. you so much sir, for always participating. Thank you, and no, go ahead that. with your contribution. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Your program is so amazing. So Thank the, you. This topic is so complex somehow because sometimes we don't, we we have difficulty in differentiating love and the infatuation, and this has caused a lot of problem in our society. You know, people love for different reasons. You know, yes. You can see somebody just because of her physical or his physical appearance, you just say you love her. After the marriage, one month, two months, three people will go each other separate way so sometimes we understood this love from infatuation but at the same time love is like a warm attachment it's just a deep attachment deep devotion to somebody when you love somebody you have to trust that person you have to pay attention to that person you have to put that person before everything you have to prioritize that person you have to trust that person we have to also show empathy in a bad and ugly situation even in good situation you have to plan even your future you will know so when somebody loves you but the problem is because some of us are loving for the wrong reason. But don't forget that love without understanding will last. Mm -hmm. You might love somebody, but once you fail to understand that man or that woman, you people will always have problems. That's why mm -hmm. you see all of that they love themselves, but they keep on fighting. You know. So one thing is to love somebody. One thing is to understand that person. Mm -hmm. You know that this is my husband or this is my wife. This is what you know he or she likes doing. You know, secondly, love is like a life. Mm. If you don't nurture it well, it's going to die. Wow. There are people that love you or you love them, but before you know it, they become your worst nightmare, your worst enemy. They must maybe they do something that you beyond human understand. Just like you trusted your wife or your husband to the core. Yes. All of a sudden, one day you just want to use her phone or his phone to you know just do something to call somebody. You started seeing different naked women pictures, you know, different chatting, so many things that you can never imagine, hmm. you know. Heartbreaking. See? Yeah, so it's what I'm trying to say. You know, love sometimes you need to be nurtured, otherwise it's that. And love sometimes don't need to be in a parallel, you have to be in equilibrium so, so that it can be able to function. Because once one party is the one loving, 
there will be a time that love may not sustain the relationship. You have to be in equilibrium. You can't be loving a, a man who is not loving you. Or mm. you, are, you are loving your husband. Why your husband is in love with another woman or star chick? That's you are it. loving your girlfriend or your boyfriend or wife. And the person is, you know, the person is not reciprocating. You know mm. what I mean? Yes, you sir. Are, you know, it's just like you are the one, the captain, you are driver, you are conductor, you are doing everything alone. You get tired. That's it. So, in order for love to function well, you have to be a kind of enabling, but have to be balanced. Everybody have to play a part. I can't just be loving you, and you know, in other words, in other words, you start taking advantage of my love because I you know I love you. I can't divorce you. I can't leave you. You'll be messing up, you know. So, and we also have to know that only God that have this agape love. The love we have as a human is just we are mortal, you know. It can it can die, it can change. Nothing is nothing is permanent in this world. So if somebody if you find somebody that loves you, please don't take that person for granted. But sometimes don't see somebody that is giving you money as somebody that loves you because there are people that believe that oh my husband will beat me after he just give me one thousand euro, ten thousand euro. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> no. Love can be, it's not, you know, there are people that don't have money, but encouragement sometimes, good words, you know. It's just, it's just like you, you are hurting somebody, you are remembering somebody, her past or her past, her mistakes or so many things. There are ways to show people really love. It's not all about giving money. And sometimes our women are also mistaking love because there are women that love you just because you are good in bed. That is why you see a woman that have her wonderful husband, rich, mm -hmm. Very wonderful, doing everything for her. But that was the same woman we leave that man be chasing her old boyfriend or something, you know, oh, and be renting houses in Africa. You know, you see all those women that their husbands are super rich, like in Ikoi or Lagos, uh, you know, Victoria Island or something like that. They have their boyfriend in uh, Ajegule where they pay house rent for them, just because they have been delusional that they are because of sex in yeah. that they see that sex is this thing as a kind of love. So that's what I said that in Africa, we are we are yet to understand what love is all about. That's why it's difficult for people to know whether this person loves me or not. But if you are sincere and honest to yourself, you know when somebody is truly in love with you. Or well, you know when your husband is in love with you. Or you know, just like in Western world here, sometimes we marry women because they have documents. Yeah. Sometimes those women will not understand that we don't really love them. We just love them because of documents. Or because a woman is working in a bank, maybe in Nigeria. If I marry her, she will give me a loan from the bank. The woman mm -hmm. may be you know, telling her, I love you, I love you, all this and that, just to get into her. You know? Yeah. So if you are not careful, you fall victim. And once you fall victim, your heart is going to be shattered. It's going to be broken. You will never find a place to love again. Wow. So in other words, love is to guard yourself. You have to protect yourself. Protect yourself. And you realize that that person is not the you know, reciprocating. You have to withdraw back. Otherwise, you have a lot of problems. Wow. Thank you so much, Mr. Kingsley, for your contribution. And I'm still going to call you back uh, when we have time. This is so powerful to cop what, um, to summarize what he said. He said, love needs to be understandable. You need to understand your spouses. And love should be a 50 50 thing. So, what it should be uniform i mean the both partners should be loving themselves it should not be a, a one-way thing it should be a two-way thing you and your spouse loving one another and love is not a materialism love is not about materialism and love is also not about um uh, you don't love people because what of what it can do for you, you know. So that's where materialism comes in, you know. You know, you don't love people because of what you want to get. You love because you want to give. Amen. So now, uh, I think someone else was trying to call. Let me see if I can uh, bring the person on. But before then, I want to welcome everyone that have joined. Welcome Adenike Obanla. Welcome EA or Sariman. Welcome at uh, African News Analysis. They are always on point coming to check on us. Thank you, African News Analysis. They say inspirational program. God bless you, Pastor. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, African News Analysis, for always coming in. Thank you, Mr. AGK, for that fundamental principles you just uh, gave us this morning. That's a beautiful nugget for the morning. 
And uh, Adenike is saying that's true. And uh, EA or Sarah may say, it's a privilege to show love. Thank you, Sister Anita. That's our first caller men mention of that, that it's actually a privilege to show love. And EA or Sarah may say, sincerity and honesty is fundamental in real love. Sincerity, honesty is fundamental in real love. And somebody's just joining. Fantastic. Joy Yomi says, hello, everyone. Hello, Joy. Do you want to contribute? Do you want to add car? The line is open right now for you to contribute. Uh, we had a, a caller before that I muted. Uh, let me see if I can open up the car again. Wow. We have somebody that's trying to call before. And now I'm going to open the line again. But before I open the line, I want to quickly say that. Um, Love comes with you trying to nurture your spouse's attractions, your spouse's feelings to create lo lasting love and happiness. You should be able to come with a mood to nurture. And I think Mr. Educate said something about that too. Hey, somebody's calling and uh, we have a caller on the line. Oh, let's see who we have. Uh, hello, caller. Let's know where you're calling from and your name. Hello, sis. This is Chica. <laughs> hello, sister Chica. All the way from Nigeria. Yeah. Wow. So, Ch yeah, Chica, is, Katie. Uh, and, uh, I changed. I changed the phone, and uh, I'm online, but you can't see me. You are saying uh, you mentioned the name of the people that were watching you. I'm on YouTube, but I can't sign in. I'm trying to use this new phone. Okay. And uh, it's, diff uh, it's difficult for me to sign in, but I was seeing you. I was listening to you. Wow. Thank but you I so much. Now you're live now. Everybody's listening to you right now. So thank you for calling and go ahead and just dish out the nuggets that we need this morning. Yeah, uh, like, um, you know, I've been trying, you know, I've been busy, my children are visiting, so I've been busy trying to read and understand the, the topic. Yes, I'm going to make Can it clear. Respect? Yes, the topic is how do we really know, how do we showcase the real love to people? Like, to know that somebody really loves us, how do we see, how do we know, how do we know that this person really loves us? So the topic is practical love in reality. And for us to see the practical love in reality, there must be something that we're seeing that will make us know. What are those things that you think we'll see? Uh, honestly, I don't know what to say. Yeah. I don't know how to how to um start how to how to know no like really how to know that somebody really like you. Yes. Because most things we see, like especially me, I'm a blogger. I've seen a lot of things online. I don't know what. I can describe as love because most of the people you trust or you feel they like you or you feel that you like them, you see, at the end of the day, you, you start seeing certain things that you're not supposed to be seeing. So when it comes to, I really know, like, you cannot assure yourself that I know that this person like me. Yeah. You cannot assure that I, I know that this person is dealing with me rightly because with my my personal experience uh maybe people that are working for me that i trusted them i trusted them so much and say okay look this person really like me he has my good interest at heart but at the end of the day i discovered that this guy was stealing wow you understand yeah but the only thing the only thing i can say about love is you only know about yourself wow. you only know what is going on in your and uh, for me i like showing love to people i don't know i don't want anything i do for people that know me that will see me and tell me thank you i don't see it as uh, i do something for love okay. i want to accept, yes i want to love people that don't know me people that don't see me people that have people that cannot even see me to tell me thank you okay wow i do it for me but then for me i don't for what i can see and my my witness my eight years of blogging i never know how to describe that people love you or maybe something something good is happening to you and uh, you see you will notice that somebody you love and somebody that you feel that is close to you that you call the person to come in and enjoy with you or laugh with you or smile with you but when you are looking at that person you will see all kinds of jealousy around the person mm -hmm. you will see not approval you will see that this person is not really being happy you know exactly there's no way you can yeah there's no way you can explain it within yourself mm -hmm. but you know 
spirit of God in us always tells us that, look, this is this guy is this person is not happy with us. Yes, this, that there's, there's that, that connection that will be telling you, but because of how far you have gone, how far you love that person, because in your heart you are loving, yeah. but you cannot you cannot say about another person. Exactly, you cannot you cannot really describe what is going on in somebody's mind. You cannot. Anybody that tells you, ah, and we know, or we describe, that person is just uh, deceiving them, he or herself. You cannot. It's only you that we know that your love for anybody is genuine. Wow. You cannot know that your love, that another person's love for you is genuine. Hmm. You cannot. Because there is so much going on in the minds of human beings. Wow. Thank you yeah. so much, ma'am. I'm going to, I'm going to, since I can, my device is troubling me, that's why I called you through this WhatsApp. So I'm going to share your, my, I'm going to share this link. Then I will listen to it later. Yes. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Sister Chica calling all the way from Nigeria. Wow. We really appreciate you. And she just shared her view on another realm of love. The love that we really need is the one that we can uh, personally say that we possess. So she's trying to say that it's really difficult to know the hearts of man. And that's why the scripture says that the heart of man is so deceitful and the heart of man is so wicked. And because of that, there's a lot of pretense. I mean, people pretend, oh, I love you, I love you. But some of them are really backstabbers, you know, you know. <laughs> One blogger said that, how can I have like 10,000 followers uh, on my Facebook, on my YouTube, and I post the video uh, uh, one month. I've not even gotten 1,000 views. <laughs> is that love? That's just a word of a blogger. Is that is that love? Come on now. We see those things every day. We see our friends. We see our loved ones. They share their love. They share their beautiful time we don't appreciate them what kind of love is that with this i just want to use the opportunity to appreciate all my viewers today all people all every one of you that always share my video that comments find time to comment and like i really love you and guess what i always pray for you every day i pray for you every day and the uh, lines will continue to fall for you in pleasant places love is sacrificial Love is you wanting to make your uh, somebody happy. Love is, uh, you know, we say that it's only, uh, some people say uh, it's only God that has love. It's only Christ that has love. Come on, have you seen Christ? Have you seen Christ? Have you even seen God? Look, if we say Christ has love, then we should have it. Because Christ in me, the hope of glory. That's what the scripture says. If we say God has love, then we should have it. If we say God is the only one that can, have you seen God? The scripture says that you, the, 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 you should be the God people see around you. So if God truly has unconditional love and agape love, we are here as God's personalities. We are here as kingdom personalities and we should be loved personalities. And our, our appearance should be love personified. That is to say that we are here to be a replica of God. That's why when I preach, when I do all my preaching, I emphasize on the angle that every personality should portray the character of Christ. And if Christ is love, therefore, we should be a replica of love. So let us stop uh, excuses of is only God that can love us. No, God has already loved us. Now we need to love ourselves. So what I was talking about, I said, how do you see the signs? There are some signs you see of a practical real love. You know, so I'm going to be, uh, be telling us the sign. But before then, I think we have a caller. I think we have a caller. Let me try to call back. Let me try to call back. We have a caller on the line. This person I've been trying to call more than four times. Let me call back and see if the person can pick and uh, we can allow the line. Um, we can open the line for contributions. So the signs that we need to see is one, for you to be a prodigal lover, for you to be a prodigal real lover, you have to acknowledge your differences in the person that you want to love. 
You have to acknowledge the differences and help them to become the best they can be and not to change them. You are not God. I want to change somebody. You want to fall into uh you go into a relationship, uh, you think you can change the person before you you get to know the person. Look, the person is already crafted with some characteristics and those things that can not be changed by you. It's only the person that decides to change his or her character or, you know, the person decides to change his or her character or God decides to help the person to change. So it's not your duty as a human being to start, try to change someone. But it's signs to show that you really love or for, for you to see signs that somebody really love you, you see the person acknowledging you the way you are, the person acknowledging your uniqueness, the person not trying to change you, the person just wants you to become better, the person just wants you to become better and as your he respects your individual address uh, 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 he respects your individual ideas and individual interest he just wants you to be better but he doesn't want to change you amen so that's that's one of the signs we see when we think about prodigal love relationship so let me see what our uh, viewers are saying EA said there should be a spirit of discernment. Correct. There should be a spirit of discernment. Correct. And um, another person says, uh, "Fantastic Joy says, I think it's diff uh, I think it's difficult to know if someone is really showing you love because sometimes people are deceptive. You're right, and that's why the scripture says the heart of man is deceitful. No one can know it. But the scriptures also says that." The, the spirit of God searches the heart of man like a candle light. So that is to say, no matter how deceitful the heart of man is, that's the place of penetration. And that's the place of the spirit. And that's the place of prayer. And prayer is not only you praying for the person's you forgot to show you the person's heart. Prayer is ability for you to communicate with God, to give you the candle that you can search through the heart to see beyond the physical. And that's spiritual. <laughs> I think I'm not going too much prophetic. And that's spiritual. So, but you're right. Human beings are really deceitful. And for you to know them, we really need to search the scriptures, the spirit of the mind of God to really find them. And she said, somebody can only know for himself or herself. Exactly. He's really showing genuine love. Good. And it's true. It's true because human beings, we are really deceitful. I, I must say, I think you're right. And uh, Joy, you're right. Thank you, sister. For that contribution we have a caller on the line hold on caller i'm gonna put you like let me just try to encourage our uh, viewers all over the world ea says being there for each other helping each other appreciating each other is one of the rudiments to see that somebody loves you thank you ea for this because some people are really like finding it difficult to find love but if, if we can we might, if we if we cannot if we can find if we cannot find love we can find somebody that is helping us we can find somebody that is appreciating us we can find somebody that is always there for us and if we can find that person we have actually found love and yes we don't have the power to change anyone yes we don't have the power to change anyone we can only uh influence them in the little way we can we have a caller on the line hello caller good morning please tell us your name and where you're calling from good morning everybody my name is abayomi george wow i'm Mr. calling from bad conic you're calling from bad conic yeah wow mr george ah that was a, a special guest caller the last time Thank you so much, sir. I'm really, I didn't really know that you would make it this morning, but I'm so glad you did. So today we're talking about prodigal love in reality. How do we know that somebody really shook his in this love in reality? Well, it's very simple because our, to start with, our world is built on love. Our world is built on love, but, um, we have turned our world into another thing because we have deviated from what made our our world what it is hmm. we have deviated and um and until we find a way back to to what created us to be who we are until we find our way back we will keep hurting ourselves instead of helping ourselves to grow hmm. We will, keep, we will keep putting ourselves down instead of lifting ourselves up. 
Hmm. Um, um, there are, there are, there is the opposite side of love, and and I feel that this opposite side of love is what we are running with, and 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 dealing together with ourselves, and that opposite side of love is what I call lost. Wow. The lost is seeing only yourself as everything that matters in the center of life. Hmm. That is lost. Anytime you begin to say me, myself, and her, you are not operating in love. Wow. Mm -hmm. Anytime you begin to see yourself as more, more important than anybody else in the center of life, you're not operating on love. It's simple as that. Love is seeing yourself in others. Wow. Deep enough to empathize, deep enough to give, and deep enough to serve their greater good, hmm. just as you would desire you would desire for yourself. Yes, sir. If this is not how you operate in this world, in this ecosystem that we call love, if this is not how you operate, if you're not seeing yourself in others. If you're not putting yourself in other people's shoes and feel what and feel what they are feeling, mm. you 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 cannot you cannot empathize genuinely. Mm. You cannot give beneficially. Neither can you serve the greater good of others. All you'll be looking out for is what you're going to make for yourself what you're going to make for yourself and that's how we are running everybody we don't have to deceive ourselves hmm. and, and, and 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 we call it we call it self-love love yourself first love yourself first there is no way you can love yourself first eh, without having that kind of extension toward others wow hmm. we, we we become blind to the to the acronym of what we call self-love. Hmm. Okay? And it is it is love in real time that makes us truly human. Truly human. It is love. Hmm. Just hold it here. There. You said it is love in true times that makes us human. That is to say that anybody that doesn't love is not human. What do you say about you're, that? You're, 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 you're not human. You're not. You're not. You're not human. Even though, even though you you appear in a in in, in physical form as as human. Yeah. You have head. You have legs. You have hands. You can breathe. Okay. You can talk. You can hear. But but you're not just. We cease. We cease to be human being when lost took hold of our mind. Wow. Because 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 the moment you begin to act in absurd manners mm -hmm. and justify it and justify it as right means to a desired selfish end you're no more human that's it i think uh, everybody should hear that because uh what are we passing through on this atrium what the countries are passing through what is going on on this atrium is like uh people trying to subdue people trying to dominate without love it's not done it's not done. And when there is no love, the nations collapse. You see, so many nations are already collapsing. And these are that these are stops. Uh, what is really bringing those uh, uh, the problems? What is bringing those problems are the, the glorification of lust, the glorification of hatred, the glorification of things that are not worthy. And the scripture says that righteousness exalts a nation, but a nation that is glorifying uh, thing on righteousness, they will likewise collapse. And what breeds righteousness? Love breeds righteousness because God himself is love. So I believe so much in what uh, Mr. Uh, Abayomi is saying because we are like a uh, trying to be uh, 
um, is he egocentric or rather selfish on ourselves? Lord, have mercy on us. And uh, we forget about others. And for love to be complete, it has to be a practical exhibition of what we show to other people. Right on, Mr. Ayo, uh, Abayomi. You see, we, 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 we lost our moral values mm -hmm. and our ethical normality hmm. for the goal for the goal of greedy gains. Greedy gains. Such as, such as, such as power, wealth, mm -hmm. fame, and influence. Gone are the days, gone are the days when we used to be each other's brother's keepers. Hmm. But, but we have stopped being that anymore. We have become, instead of become, instead of being our our brother's keepers, we have become hunters, hunters for the downfall of others in order to help ourselves come to limelight. Hmm. Most people are just out there to grab something off of the hands of others for want of success and significance. Hmm. And this and this way of, of, of expressing ourselves has been what has turned our world into a hell hmm. when it is created to be a paradise of beauty and prosperity for all. Wow. And I, I like the part. I like the part. I, I Please, let me just comment. I like the part when you say that the word... Uh, the earth is uh, created to be a paradise of beauty because so many people don't understand that. They are looking out for heaven where they will have the beauty, but they will be so disappointed when they get to heaven that the beauty that they were actually looking for was supposed to be on this atrium. Go ahead, sir. This earth is our heaven. Hmm. Glory. Is our I love this. this. Earth is our heaven. If we actually live and demonstrate real love wow. with one another. Hmm. It is supposed to be our heaven. How much love does our politician express when they were campaigning for votes? <laughs> At the moment they come into power, how much of this love do they demonstrate eh, to bring sanity eh, into our health, into our into our system? Hmm. Okay, I'm just tired about what we be, about what we have become in search for personal success and happiness. Wow, we have to find our way to return back to love, a love that is real, a love that is divine, a love that is service oriented rather than rather than self centered, hmm. a love that aims to build what we serve the greater good of all and sundry, irrespective of the color of your skin or your social class. Hmm. God has given us everything that is enough for everybody to live a life of goodness a life of and goodness. wellness. And wellness, wow. If we only play the game of love by the divine rule. Hmm. And can you elaborate on the divine rule? What is the divine rule of love? If, if you if you go to the book of Matthew chapter seven verse eleven, I think I think I think I I, I hope I'm right. That's where the golden rule of life is. Wow. Do unto others what you will have them do unto you. Correct. That's the game of. That's the game of love. Correct. And I just believe so much in that. Because that I, I wanted to really ask you that. I want to really ask you that to really know if you're on the same uh, realm with me. And truly, you are. You just got it 100% right. Do unto others what you would like others to do unto you. Period. Right, I'm saying. That's, that, that's the beginning and end of love. Mm-hmm. That's where that's where the beauty of life is founded. Hmm. Okay, I mean, we, we, but 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 the, but the love we pros, we profess for each other in this time and in this moment of our beingness is a love that is that is manipulative, 
-hmm. It is a law that is control driven. Okay. Yeah. And 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 this this manipulative and control driven law that we play with one another is not is not going to save our world. Neither will it help us to find fulfillment hmm. in our own self. Hmm. So now, just, now, it's sorry to cut you in. So, f how do we find fulfillment in our own self? The only way you can find fulfillment in yourself is when you seek the good of others as much as you want for yourself. Wow, wow, wow. I have to, I have to clap. I have to clap. I have to really clap for you because this is it. You have, repeat that again. Let everybody take take notes. Just write it down. This is helpful for the future. It, 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 is, it is really, it is, that's where the game changing is. Yeah. And that the more, the more, as long as you are not, as long as you are able to impact positively on the life of others, eh, with the with the gift, with the gift and talent that God has blessed you with, if you can extend a helping hand to others, eh, you can you you you, you your, your gift your gift can only give you a, can only give you success. Wow! And, and 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 the more success you get, you feel happy. But but I tell you, I've I've been in this game in my life. Okay, I have made as much money as I could make for myself. Okay, but I feel I still in the in the in, in the in the in the midst of making so much money for myself, I find some kind of emptiness within myself. Hmm. Until I, 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 that money, I feel, I feel a little bit of happiness, making as much money as I could make with the talent that God has given to me. But deep on the inside of me, there is a, there is a, there is an emptiness. Emptiness, despite the money. <laughs> I was asking God. I was asking, show me why. I, show me why I'm not fully, fully, fully fulfilled. Happy <laughs> within myself, the, the, the happiness I feel for making what I make for myself is just, is just on, on, is just surface. It's a surface happiness, not, not real deep. Wow. I was, but the, the moment I began to seek, to seek out. How how my how my success can benefit others? others. Hmm. How my success? How the position that God has put me in? How I can use that position to elevate others? The moment I began to do that, and I began to see, and I began to see the effect of of joy, eh? The effect of joy I am bringing into other people's life. When I began to see those, those people are not paying me anything. Wow. But the impact of my life on them gives me fulfillment. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm going to still call you back to contribute more, but I just wanted to round up uh, the, the conversation so that I will give other people a chance. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I'm going to still elaborate on what you uh, spoken about. Just uh, some few minutes to round up. Okay. Yes, yeah. Um, I just I just want people to understand that it is it is how much of their of, of impact they bring on other people's life that gives them that fulfillment, not what they make for themselves. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's Thank that, you. that's how I understand it right now, man. Wow. And that's where real love, real love, the demonstration of real, real love is the impact of your life on others, wow. not what you make for yourself. Wow. Thank you so much, Mr. Abayomi, all the way from uh, very close to Frankfurt, really, in Germany. I really appreciate it. We have another caller. But before then, before I pick the call, caller, please hold on. I'm going to pick your call. Uh, but before I pick the call, I want to appreciate Mr. Abayomi. He is a, a profound caller with uh, lots of principles. And I believe our viewers all over the world, you, you're noting those things down. You need them for the future. You need them for your children. You need them for your colleagues you need them for your ministry those are those are these are nuggets that uh for the souls these are the, uh, these are special nuggets uh for relationship these are uh, special nuggets for life when i say nuggets i mean real nuggets for life 
So what was he talking about? He's saying that the fulfillment of love is the impartation of love to other people. So that is to say that love is about service, service to other people. Somebody is trying to call. Let me see. I have to put a call now. Uh, hello, caller. Hello, caller. Let us know where you. Uh, okay, is Mr. Kingsley Educates trying to call back? Yeah, it's educating, sir. Just so educating you you want to today. add something to what uh, yeah, Mr. Abayomi said? Mr. Abayomi, all of them, even our sister that called from Nigeria. Sister, think, sister Chika. She, yeah, 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 Genan. She made a wonderful point. All of them are in fact. Thank you, so, thank you, know, you sir. I hope they are listening. I hope they are still Mr. watching, Mr. yes. This topic has been a little bit shifted from the normal, <laughs> you know, the husband and wife love, just generally anyway. Yes. So what I'm going to say is that I will define my own kind of love based on this uh, principle, like do unto others as you would love them to do unto you. That, that is what I want you to do to me. Yes. If I can be able to do the same thing to you, that, that is love. Now, remember, for you to give love, you have to have that love. You yes. can give what you don't have. You can never give what you don't possess. No way. So before you can be able to give people love, you have to love yourself as well. You have to have that love. It's yes. like a, well, that's love is just a divine something. You have to have it within you. Yes. If, you, if your heart is full of hatred and evil or plotting, if you can never love people, you can't give. That's it. At the same time, we are saying much about love. Remember, this love has to start from us individually. Yes. How do you treat your house may help? You went and picked a young a poor boy or a poor lady from in the village, and you sent her to hawk for you all the street of Lagos, where your children are going to better school. She mm. hardly sleep while your children are asleep. Wow. That is love. If you do what that thing you expect with other people to do to your children, why not do it for that poor maid? You know, your employers, you don't pay them. Hmm. The people that are working under you, you treat them bad and you are blaming Buhari. You have to start from us. You have to start even from church because we have a lot of segregation and hatred even in the church. Preach it, you know, say it. Most of your followers, most of your, I'm sorry to go this way, but most of your followers are pastors and evangelists, I know. Yes, now, preach it, let, let it hear. Let them use this as practical. I think Jesus told us there was a man, you know, he was struck by armed robbers or something on his way to somewhere. I don't know. You know? Yeah, yes. now, pastors came and passed, priests came and passed, all those people, religious leaders, all of them came and passed. It was just a mere good Samaritan, you know, who have no relation, you know, no relationship with God. He happened to be the one that took care of this man, took him to hospital, brush him up, and do everything. Now, you as a pastor that own churches in Nigeria, that own private jets. Your poor members are dying from different elements, and you can't even you know build a stand one hospital. And your children and you are taking medication in abroad. And on the other side, you want to show love to people, you build schools, and the the poor people, their poor members, their children cannot afford that school. Why not make that at least the school fees to be afforded? I know that education costs a lot. I know that I pay the teachers and the other lecturers and whatever. But for just that love, that charity you want to do, why not make it for that? And your members are begging us money in inboxes. They are praying <laughs> to have help from an outsider. Why they belong to your ministry? And they are the ones that contributed the money used in building your church. You are a pastor, you want to show love. You have four, three private jets. And people are dying of hunger. People are being frustrated. No job, nothing. You can't even think of establishing a company, at least to employ people. You want all of them to remain under you and worship you like God. Because that's what they made us now in Africa. We literally worship them. So this love we are talking, you see, many people are dropping their Bible. Many people are going away from church because they don't see that love in church. The oh, no. brother and sister have a lot of problems. Nobody wants to even encourage the person or, you know, so they will only tell you that it's because of your sins, you know. Before you know, <laughs> that person will backslid and all believers will brush that person up. We can see that in most of our musicians. If you trace their history, most of these uh, uh, great musicians, Flavor and Co., I don't know much about them anyway, but they said that you used to sing in their various churches, you know, you know. So, but because of their churches, never nobody wants to partner with them. Nobody wants to support them. They, they, they deviated. 
I'm not just trying to say that they did well or whatever, but I'm just to bring a point. It is high time we come back as churches, just like here in Germany. We have Caritas, we have Diaconi. Diaconi, I think, is from Evangelical, that's Anglican. Uh, Caritas is from Catholic. They are the ones taking care of most of our single mothers here. They have hospitals here. They have so many things. Nobody goes to church in Germany like in Nigeria, but their, their moral standard is okay. Now, in our own Nigeria, what are the impacts our big churches are playing yeah. to show love? To show love, you know? How can you talk, love to, at least I have helped some people to pay their children's school fees. That is my only tool I can do. Imagine if I'm a person that have the opportunity to have a school. I will make it free of them, free of charge for everybody. Because the money is not from my pocket, it's from the church members. So exactly. these are the way to show love. Now, you that is here in Germany, and you are treating others bad because they don't have documents, you are segregating them. Instead of encouraging them, is it how to show love? Exactly. So we have to know the definition of love, you know. We have to do this love so that our society will be, you know, a kind of where we can go to live peacefully. You see, this violence you are seeing in Nigeria because so many people are being left behind. Nobody showed their love. The rich people are keep on showcasing their money in Facebook, intimidating all that. That's why people go into crime because they believe that, oh, I've been abandoned because I'm poor. I don't have money. I don't have to say. So in other words, once we start showing love to people, the rate of crime is going to be reduced automatically. Yeah. You have to start by paying your get man. Don't just see him as a get poor get man. Give him this due respect. You know, if you see people that are working in shop right, give them their due respect. Don't just you know because somebody is a conductor, you start you know you know just like in Nigeria, a woman will just start insulting a dog, a conductor, calling him names or something like that. No, what you love also goes with respect. Believe me. Yeah, you're right. So, you're right. You're making you're making points. We have to abide in it. The love is going to start from joy because, in fact, if you look at the life of Jesus, everything about him is love. Love. Exactly. Believe me, that is what Stanley stands for. Everything about him. All this pray for your enemy to die. But Jesus told you also pray for your enemies. I mean, pray for them. When people saw the disciples, they say, indeed, these people are like Christ, you know. But today, all our pastors are doing is cursing people, cursing cause, cause, cause users, you know, trying to tell that their own Holy Ghost can structure death. These are not the joke, <laughs> you know, hurting people. And this made people to doubt that Bible somehow. They thought you are representing Jesus, God, and you are busy in your altar. You are going to die. If you don't pay tax, you die. If you don't do this, you die. I'm going to curse you. I'm going to show you I live with God. All this and that. These are not the way to show love. So this love has to start from us individually. You are blaming Buhari for the uh, problem of Nigeria. How do you treat the people around you? Your housemaid, your people around you, even your co-wife or something like that, your stepmother, your uh, grandma, so many people around you, how do you treat them? Those children you see that are hawking pure water, you use your car to, you know, you. It, 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 I know that they are not in... Um, because maybe they want to sell something for you. You like to use your car to you know, hit them and be causing them just because they are victim of no circumstances, because they are hawking at the road. Why not even help them? When you see them, you can slow down. You know, exactly. these are somewhere to show up. You can't help everybody, but at least show love to those people that are victims. Be nice, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's all I want to say. Wow, you made so, a great point, really. You, you actually you actually made a great point. I think it's uh Love is a universal thing. So we don't need to reduce love to relationship, to spouses, uh, marriages, well, and all that. Make so, of, uh, the suicide, our society that is in chaos because yes. the teacher, top people, they don't consider the poor man, they don't show love. Yes. But if they show love, if they show love, we won't be, we won't be having all this kind of problem we are having today. Yes, you're all right. The crisis in this country just as a result of not showing love, not doing to people what you want them to do unto you. Exactly. You're right. Thank you so much, Mr. Educate, for throwing more light on the societal uh, area. Just uh, like, let me use this as a final example. Just like you got married to a young lady, four years, five years, that lady was unable to conceive. Then if you sent her away just because she didn't conceive, what if this thing happened to your own sister or your own daughters? Maybe they got married. Yeah. Maybe they were, were unable to conceive maybe in a period of time. You sent her away. You see, that is not love. You see? 
Yes. So you're we right. have to think of other people as well. Yeah, that's why I like the strategy and the gaming principle about love. Do unto others what you would like others to do unto you. Thank you, Mr. AGK, for this uh, contribution. It's really a wonderful day with all of you. Thank you all for joining. Thank you for those that have contributed. We're still on Hangout with me, and I'm so overwhelmed today with the kind of contributions that is coming from all corners of the world. And I think we're just blessed. And I thank God for the opportunity to come out here to go with this mission, because it's a mission to serve, and it's a mission to serve God's people. So thank you, God's people, for joining. Uh, EEA says, uh, Mr. EJK, uh, you are right. Thank you, Mr. EJK. He says, uh, uh, Sister Anita says, preach it, Mr. EJK. And uh, he says, church has become a place, a place of hell. And it's appalling. it's appalling. I did a series about uh, on church matters arising on the church. If you want your church to grow in the knowledge of Christ, go to YouTube, watch my series on matters arising from the church. I think I did a whole series, and I also did a whole serial on um, the church on the move. That will really open more light to the. Uh, different kind of topics that I've already shared before in my Today Hammer Point videos. You can go to Facebook and watch them, or you go to YouTube, their videos are there, for you to really know what it takes to love. Uh, go to my video, YouTube videos, you can watch my love series. I know what, 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 what love is about, because we need to understand the fundamental principles, the underlying principles about love. So when we understand that, we know how to love our spouses, we know how to love our family, we know how to love our community, we know how to love our people, you know, because uh, I must confess that human beings are really difficult to love. Some of them, you try to show them love, they pour paper on you. I know sometimes we'll feel it. Sometimes, uh, me too, I'm a very, very practical and temperamental person. I have a temperament in me. So, I, so sometimes they make you to react like, then you'll be reacting. And after reacting, you just like, oh, as if you've lost it. But it's because of the attitude of people. So let us all try to be nice. In as much as Christ told us to pray for our enemies, uh, try to love one another, let also our people that are so naggy and so um, uh, causing troubles, let, us, let them try to repent. Try to repent. Try to repent. Try to be nice. Try to be nice to people that are nice to you and also to people that are not nice to you. For signs of getting the prodigal, real prodigal love personalities, you have to be able to find somebody. And now I'm talking to singers. Those of you that want to know, oh, okay, how can I know that if the, this man I'm going to uh, stay with, I'm going to love, how can I know that he loves me? How can I know that she loves me? One. You have to define love yourself. We've already said that. And you have to know how to communicate and understand yourselves. Open honest conversation. Let it be honest. Let it be honesty. Let it be sincerity. As he has said, sincerity should be part of it. Be sincere to one another. Be sincere to each other. Communicate and understand yourselves. Open honest conversations. But remember also that everyone has secrets. And there's absolutely nothing wrong in keeping those to yourself. Nevertheless, discuss about your emotions. Identify what you, you think that might be of benefit. And there's also nothing wrong in you setting your boundaries. Yeah, there's nothing wrong in you setting your boundaries. So your spouses or your partner should know your boundaries. You should know what. No, I don't like this. Let them just know you don't like it. So whenever they do it, you know that they're doing it to, to like, they're doing what you don't like. And what do you, how do you know somebody that loves you? Somebody that loves you, even when he or she does what you do not like, apologizes and stops, I mean, he tries to save himself from not doing it. And he has to, like, apologize. And uh, more so, the person tries as much as he can not to offend you. That's what practical love personality is. Practical love personality encourages it, it encourages you to do your own thing that will yield to your callings and your purpose. 
and oh, you know so somebody that loves you will want you to grow somebody that loves you will want you to grow wants you to be the best you can be you know the person will want you to be the best you can be in your profession in your in your calling in your purposeful calling the person wants you to be the best you can be so the person should not be suppressing you but what what do we see nowadays we see churches fighting against each other pastors they are they they have church their church the husband and wife fighting fighting not only that they are fighting for their personal gains or don't know some of them went ahead to kill themselves and all that they are fighting for positions they are competing compete marriage relationship is not about competition it's about bringing what you have i bring what i have and we trying to unite together and build beautiful family out of it let us take competition out of it when you want to go into relationship take competition because competition breeds evil and evil breeds um, uh, uh, evil brings hatred in the house build trust in yourself somebody say oh the scripture says we shouldn't put our trust in human beings yes they nobody should do that because the scriptures also say anybody that put trust in human being is a fool like so we shouldn't be a fool in relationship so in as much as we present ourselves in all sincerity in all love let our trust be put in god and we should be able to be sincere in ourselves and sincere, being sincere in ourselves helps us build um, trust among within ourselves and among ourselves so we we'll build trust and this trust has to do with being committed prioritize your time together prioritize your time stay together walk together talk through your difficulties talk, talk through your 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 conflicts when you talk through it when you converse through it then do even that even the time of your courtship when you're dating a man when you're dating a woman talk about conflict talk about what about if i did something you do not like how will you react talk about reactions the person will open up how he's going to react and because something like that will happen in the future, you need that in the future. So there's a need for you to discuss your conflict levels, your disagreement level. There's a need for you to discuss your arguments. No marriage is a bed of roses. We marriage, good marriages are built with couples that are ready to be tolerant to one each and each other. So, and how does this tolerance come? This tolerance come by us trying to be committed in ourselves in uh, handling problems let me see uh try to read comments uh, and mr educator please guys share this program thank you so much sir please share 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 i always forget to tell people to share please share 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 somebody needs to be blessed with this somebody somebody's marriage is in shamble and there's a the person needs to hear some things that will make the person wake up. It's a young lady that is looking forward to uh, getting married, but she doesn't even know what a prodigal love reality means in a man. So share this video, let them get to know, watch and be saved. And as you're saving that, there's always a reward. So if God uses you as an evangelist, he will surely reward you. Please share, share, share. God, God bless you for sharing. Be ready to compro, uh, to uh, collaborate or compromise. Be especially be ready to make sacrifices. Be ready to make sacrifices. Be ready to make sacrifices. Ready to make sacrifices and uh, be a personality that helps to get your needs done. For you to know a, a personality that is a prodigal of personality is ready to help your needs done. It's ready to help your needs done. It's help ready to make help your needs met to achieve your purpose, to achieve your goal. It's there to help you. Look out for that person. Yes, well, saying God is love. Yes, it's only God. 
God has showcased himself in us. And there are some principles we will see. Let us imbibe in those principles and our life will be more beautiful. Our life relationship will be more uh, profound. Sometimes love does not mean together forever because some people misuse love in that realm. Sometimes I have to say that love does not mean together forever. Especially when you are in a relationship, you met somebody, you're just trying to get to know each other. It's not as if because you met the person, you're in a relationship, you're not even married, and you want to kill yourself inside. You want to die there. Come on. Love doesn't mean forever together. Sometimes love could mean forever, but not together. So when you find a relationship, you're in a relationship, and the person is becoming toxic, so toxic wrong for your life wrong for your life don't uh, kill yourself in that relationship so i said here sometimes love does not mean together forever it could be for a moment for you to find a real love that will truly last forever so you can move on if it seems not to be working out you can move on because you are a unique personality, like I said before, and there's a personality that we suit your own personality. All you need is time. All you need is to find the right personality. And as you find the right uh, personalities, your life will be more colorful. A prodigal love, uh, prodigal real love personality, we always want you to be strengthened. You always want to strengthen you and not to pull you down or abuse the privilege you gave him or her. That's the a personality that you want to say I do to. A personality that wants to reverence the privilege that brought both of you together. I know love itself, showing love to one another is a privilege. As you can say, someone who loves you will always correct you, even when you are... Um, going in the wrong direction the person will always tell you the truth about yourself and that's correct that's correct he went for that to say sometimes you have to compromise on some certain things with your partner for love's sake yes so you don't have to win at all times sometimes allow them win allow them win when you allow them win you save yourself from headache and when you save yourself from headache you'll be more refreshed for the future for yourselves you know, so uh, let me read more comments, educators. But don't allow people to take advantage of your love towards them. Be wise and love the right people. Exactly. Love reciprocates. Yes, love is um, love is supposed to be uh, a reciprocation. Like when you show somebody love, the person is supposed to be able to show you back to reciprocate in that realm. So if you're the one only showing your love and your partner is not showing them. There's a sign that the love might be abusive led wrong for your life. Love has to be reciprocal. Thank you, all of you that have joined. I'm so happy you joined today, Hang Out With Me. And it's a privilege to be your host on Hang Out With Me. Please help us to share this thread so that other people that didn't join will watch later and glorify God for their life. God loves us. And may his peace be with you wherever you're watching me from are you a young lady trying to hook up i pray for you right now i pray that the lord will give you the right instinct and discernment to get to know the prodigal real relationship i mean the prodigal uh, real love that you need in a man and also a young man looking for a wife i pray the lord opens your eyes to see the virtues in that woman you want to call your wife so that you will not make mistakes because marriages are supposed to be a lasting principle. Marriages are supposed to be uh, a together for everything. But when the foundation of the marriage is not properly set, it's not going to be together forever. And that's when love is battered. God did not bring you here to, for your love to be battered. God brought you here for you to be a practical example to generations. So generations here and to come we'll see your marriage and say yes god is in this family be a replica of god in that realm don't allow people to take advantage of your love towards them be wise and yeah this is in something 
He said, always know when the love dies and when to move on with your life. Period. Always, always know when there's no more love and when to move on with your life. Like uh, one of our callers, Mr. Abayomi George said that this atrium is a beautiful paradise that we're meant, that is meant for us to enjoy. So look at love with a, uh, with a concept, with a uh, consciousness that the atrium is a beautiful paradise. So if the atrium is a beautiful paradise for us to enjoy, then your enjoyment starts with love on your own side. Don't be surprised. Heaven is a different ballgame. God has given you this paradise to enjoy. So don't allow anybody to steal your joy. Don't allow anybody to steal your happiness in the name of I love you. And they're hurting you. They're making you cry every day. Every day you are with handkerchief in your room crying. You come out, you pretend as if you are, come on now, beloved. This is the paradise that God brought you here to enjoy. Do not allow any man to distract you. Do not allow any man to steal your joy. Do not allow any woman to steal your happiness. Stay put in the place of love where God can find you and give you the discernment uh, that you need to see or hear. But there's a need for you to have a place of God in your heart. There's a need for you to have the place that you can call God. And when you call God, I don't know, I don't mean bring, bring, no, no, not really, but a place, a quiet time with God to wrap with him then you can be ministering to you and be telling you what to do at all times so that you will not go astray love i pray the spirit give you the option to function to be in the right room with god where god will be pleased with your relationship where god will be pleased with what you do love make it up point say lord almighty come and dwell in my heart come and help me with the right discernment Help me with the right character to be lovable so that my spouse will find me. There's a woman, you're 40 years old or 40 something. You're looking for uh, a man. This prayer is for you. Say, Lord, help me to be lovable. Help me to present myself in a place where my spouse can find me lovable and imbibe in me the characters of Christ that my man will see it and recognize it and find me in jesus mighty name it's for you receive it in the mighty name of jesus and so shall it be that you will testify when it happened testify to the glory of god that god has indeed blessed you because that's your wish you want to get married so why not receive it in the mighty name of jesus thank you all of you that have joined thank you all of you that have shared thank you all of you that has called i love you all and i'll see you again next week on hang out with me but until then just know that god loves you and and because god is an epitome of love we are also supposed to be an epitome of love share love to one another even to your enemies even those that doesn't check on you pray for them love them even if they have wronged you and you don't want to have relationship with them again it's okay but pray for them do not have grudges of people in your heart clear your heart Wipe your heart, cleanse your heart from every kind of grudge, grudges, from every kind of unrighteousness. Do not allow them to hold you down. Do not allow them to uh, hold you bound with a grudge. Glorified in everything you do so i'll see you next week on hang out with me stay blessed and bye-bye uh, uh sister nita says bye for now god bless you all amen and um this is it always know when the love that okay i think i've said that okay bye bye all god blessings and i'll see you next week on hang out with me Thank you for joining in. Thank you for your calls. Blessings, 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 blessings. And I pray for your homes. May the love of the Lord, we supersedes all understand that continue to be in your homes. May the love of Christ continue to fill your hearts and your homes and your spouses' hearts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And for those of you that are still looking for love, uh, love uh, uh, those of you that are still looking for husband or wives, may the Lord get connected to you the right spouses in the mighty name of jesus amen share this thread and more blessings abound 
in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Bye-bye.